Secretary, thanks for being here. Uh, there's a lot of things that I want to be able to talk about on this. We've got some tax proposals on the table. I have a bipartisan uh, charitable act uh, dealing with tax policy uh, that we're not going to have time to be able to talk through. I'd like to be able to talk about full expensing. Uh, Senator Toomey used to be able to uh, champion this, but it's a big issue for our manufacturers in my state and all around the country. Love to get a chance to talk about that. I'd love to talk about marriage penalties in the tax code because, quite frankly, they're still there. It's one of the things we've got to be able to work on, energy independence. Uh, I did notice a whole new set of new taxes uh, on energy companies in the United States uh, that I think would hurt our energy independence. Uh, and there's still no definition for the $600. If you do Venmo uh, payments to somebody up to $600, now the IRS is going to track you. Uh, I've noticed that you've delayed that, and the IRS has delayed that. Uh, but there's a lot of questions with that. And new creative definitions of what it means to be made in America. Uh, we now have new treaties that are popping up that are not really treaties, not really uh, free trade agreements, but are being declared free trade agreements to allow from the Inflation Reduction Act actions uh, from Japan and Germany to now be defined as made in America. I find that very creative. Love to talk about all that. Uh, don't have time. I need to be able to drill on a couple of things. Let me start with some of the banking issues we're dealing with on it. Will the deposits in every community bank in Oklahoma, regardless of their size, be fully insured now? Are they fully recovered? Every bank, every community bank in Oklahoma, regardless of the size of the deposit, will they get the same treatment that SVBP just got or Signature Bank just got? A bank only gets that treatment if a majority of the FDIC board, a supermajority, a supermajority of the Fed board, and I, in consultation with the president, determine that the failure to protect uninsured depositors would create systemic risk and significant economic and financial consequences. So what is and your we plan? Made that determination. Right. Right. So, so what is your banks. plan to keep large depositors from moving their funds out of community banks into the big banks? We have seen the mergers of banks over the past decade. I'm concerned you're about to accelerate that by encouraging anyone who has a large deposit in a community bank to say, we're not going to make you whole, but if you go to one of our preferred banks, we will make you whole at that point. Um, look, I mean, we're, that's certainly not something that we're encouraging. That is happening right now. That is happening because depositors are concerned about the bank failures that have happened and whether or not other banks could also um, no, it, it, fail. No, it's happening and because it's, you're fully insured no matter what the amount is. If you're in a big bank, you're not fully insured if you're in a community bank. Well, you're not fully insured, and you you big, were at signature, the, the and it big, was it just barely met that threshold. You were at signature. Well, we felt that there was a serious risk of contagion that could have brought down and triggered runs on many banks, um, and that something, given that our judgment is that the banking system overall is safe and sound, um, depositors should have confidence in the system, and we took these actions. So there's a special assessment that's been done on community banks in my state and all banks across the country. Was there any discussion that that special assessment would only apply to the larger banks, or was it always assumed the special assessment would cover every bank, including rural banks in my state? Um, I, I think I, I'm not certain what the rules are around that. Um, that that's uh, for the FDIC to determine. It, it, it has been reported publicly that uh, SVB had a large number of Chinese investors that are there, including some that were companies directly connected to the Chinese Communist Party. It, will, will those individual, will those individuals, companies, entities, and investors that are Chinese investors be made whole based on assessments? in my banks in Oklahoma. So what I'm asking is, will my banks in Oklahoma pay a special assessment to be able to make Chinese investors whole from Silicon Valley Bank? Uninsured investors will be made whole in that bank, and I suppose that could include foreign, foreign depositors. 
but I don't believe there's any legal basis to discriminate among uninsured. I get it, but I, I'm just saying my community banks are going to pay this additional fee. It is always fascinating to me as well, the conversation that taxpayers are being made whole in this, that taxpayers are not going to have any kind of consequence on this. I'm sure my bankers are going to be very excited to know they no longer pay taxes uh, and their banks no longer pay taxes. Credit unions don't pay taxes. Banks do. And so they're definitely taxpayers as well. And all yes. banks make their revenue off of rates and fees and such to their account holders, which means every Oklahoman will pay higher fees we're, in their if, community we're, bank. We're just going to have to move on. If we have a collapse of the banking system and its economic consequences, that will have very severe effects I, on banks in Oklahoma I'm, that will also we're, we're, be threatened. I'm, I'm just worried about, gonna, long, I'm just worried about the long-term consequences on our banks as well. We are going to have to move on, on well. or we're not going to get all senators in.